first, let's take to the snow and ice of the French Alps for the penultimate round of the Trophy Andros series from Lon en Vercors. Situated in the Vercors Regional Natural Park, 30 minutes west of Grenoble, the Lon en Vercors ice racing circuit is host to the fourth and penultimate round of this winter's electric Trophy Andros season. Four-time champion Jean-Baptiste Dubourg leads the championship and with a win and second place last time out at Serre Chevalier, he has one hand on his fifth Trophy Andros title. Evening snow conditions for our race with Dubourg, the championship leader in pole, Erlache alongside him, then Prost and Panis just behind. This is going to be tough and it's getting heavier as away goes to Borg and a good start from Nico Prost he picks up second place Erlache goes into third place and just behind him is Panis the man second in the championship at the moment they're going to get more grip and oh drama here on the second lap as Erlache's bodywork just flies off and is stuck in the middle of the track there <laughs> and well He's got half a car, but he's still battling away. Jan Erlasher, the winter ice racer and summer touring car racer. And I'm sure that's going to amuse his team boss, Ivan Muller. And there is the bodywork. And I wonder if they can sort of knock it out of the way. Well, he tries to sort of knock it out of the way. Meanwhile, Aurelien Panis in the number one, the son of Olivier Panis, who's also racing in the series from France, is getting very close to the half car ahead of him of Erlache and to be fair Jan doing a really good job of keeping it all together despite the problems he's got the lack of bodywork the pressure he's under in third place but at the moment holding on to it over Panis meanwhile out front Jean-Baptiste Dubourg is now extending his lead to over 1.8 seconds over Nico Prost and try as he might he just can't get the drive Panis to get past Erlache here come the leaders and about two car lengths now Dubourg has built. And here comes that battle for third place. Earl Asher holding on for dear life. And Paris, oh, Paris gets spun around. Nathaniel Beton uh, just touches the rear end of Paris's car and that's caused a traffic jam. Earl Asher has gone off into the distance and now it's going to be a battle for fourth place. But here comes your leader and championship leader at the moment. He is dealing with the conditions in that four-wheel steer, four-wheel drive electric Renault Zoe as he splashes through the slush on his way to what should be a dominant victory. And it is. There's the chequered flag. Nico Prost will take second place. And half the car, Jan Erlache, will bring the Ivan Muller car home, or what's left of it, to take third. A look at the point standings at the end of day one shows Dubourg stretch his lead advantage to 35, while Erlache gets the better of Panis by a solitary point. So with four races to go, Dubourg looks like the man to beat. Can he be beaten on day two, or will he head to Valterren with a commanding lead? Find out later in the show.